So New World is brand new, but it isn't without its problems. For me, those problems are mainly queue times. I mean, I've seen the odd review where they just bash the game for views, normally the way these days. But besides the queue times, in my opinion, I'm loving the game. I'm proper addicted. Today, I bring you the latest news regarding New World, where we check out news on servers, AFK punishment, characters and changing servers, and more. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more New World, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so New World is like I said, a brand new game. Its launch in my opinion has been a success when compared to many other brand new popular gaming titles we've had over the past 3 or 4 years. But it isn't without its issues, that's for sure. The main issues people are having are those queue times and getting into their server. For me, the longest I've had to wait is around that 3 hour mark to get back in and continue on playing. But I've heard some people have waited over 5 hours. And I guess servers where massive content creators are trying to build communities and inviting their fans into their server, it would be even crazier. Now because of the crazy queue times, you will notice when playing, you will come across people using a macro to go AFK in a server to not get kicked. I tried once to use the auto run feature but that didn't work and I guess people have realised this and are now using whatever method possible to avoid queuing back in. Which I guess is somewhat understandable why someone would do this. Now the folks at New World have put out a statement in regards to people using such things to stay AFK in the game. They said Greetings adventurers, we have seen a lot of frustration around individuals who may be artificially remaining active enough in servers to avoid the automatic AFK mitigation that is built into New World. We certainly agree that this is not acceptable behaviour, especially when there are droves of individuals who are waiting patiently to get into a world. We have created a new solution to help us identify an action against bad faith AFK players. We will not disclose the details of how this solution works, but we will say that we have every confidence that players who are playing New World normally will not experience any issues. Initially, being caught by a detection solution will result in a quick kick to the main menu, but if the behaviour continues, more harsh penalties will be applied. This effort is going to be rolled out over a period of time, so results may not appear immediately. But this is something we are dedicated to bringing online as quickly as we feel comfortable. Thank you for your support. So yes, that is what they have said. And although I do hate the queues myself, you could say the queuing is due to AFK players not wanting to be kicked from a server. So it is like a vicious circle. People don't want to queue in, so they use an AFK method. But the AFK method is stopping other people getting into the servers. Now if you do continue on using AFK tools, I'm guessing bans may eventually be handed out. Although that hasn't yet been confirmed. Okay, so we're going to move on. And again about the server problems with them being full. New World have incorporated a new feature into the game where servers that are overpopulated you won't be able to create new characters in and they plan on expanding capacities. They said, Due to the incredible demand we have seen for New World, we have been working hard to increase the number of servers and increase the capacity of all available servers. We are also implementing a system to prevent new players from creating new characters in full servers. Whenever a server is full, the server will be greyed out with the messaging character creation temporarily disabled on this server to prevent overpopulation. This does not affect any characters already created on the server and you'll be able to log in as usual. At this time we have put 28 worlds in full status but keep an eye on our server status page since this list of worlds can change from hour to hour. We appreciate your patience and understanding while we work towards bringing you the most optimal player experience. Thank you for your support. So yeah, I do kind of get the grain out thing and server full status is features for sure. Hopefully it does help the game out. So we're going to move on and now on to a great feature I'm pretty sure many people will welcome and that is being able to transfer your character to another server. This feature is with purpose of being able to play with friends who started their journey on another server. So yes, I fully back this. Now this is a feature they plan on adding into the game next week if all goes well so we will see guys but yes I think this is a great great addition to the game. And lastly guys, is there any news on a console version of New World? Well, 
They recently replied to a dude on Twitter asking the very same question and they replied with New World will be playable only on PC for the foreseeable future. And this to me is a reality. I mean, I, I'm a console gamer at heart, but I am loving life on PC. And well, I don't actually feel next gen consoles would hold up well with New World without some serious issues popping up. And considering they are yet to perfect the game on PC, I'd say we ain't going to see a console version anytime soon. Not this year and probably not even next year. But we will see, we will see. And there we have it guys, the latest surrounding new world. If any new news drops, I will have you covered right here on my channel. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.